IPACL on R1, R2, and R3. And in that ACL, that ACL is going to be number 10 in order to block all remote access to the routers except from PCC. Okay, so for that, you have to look at where PCC is, right here. And then on each router, you've got to create a standard ACL, number 10, to permit the IP of PCC and then a denial. Deny any. Okay. But remote access to the router. So again, what does the standard ACL allow us to do? It only looks at what? Source IP, nothing else. Don't look at, oh, they access them with SSH, it doesn't matter. Only IP. So let's work with R3 first. All right. And PCC's IP is 192.168.33. So we'll go configuration mode and We'll start creating the access list. It's going to be number 10. We want to permit host 192.168.3.3. Access list 10, nine, any. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Now we have to apply that. So, here's the tricky part. Where in the world do we apply it? Well, you have to look at the traffic flow. So if traffic is coming to these systems, it only can come from two directions, right? So we've got to apply it inbound on this interface, right? FA01. Now we don't need to apply it here because we don't have an access. Well, we should also apply it here to serial 001 as well. So, so fast Ethernet 01, int F01, IP. Access group 10 inbound. And we also have to uh, go to serial 001. IP access group 10 inbound. So that we deny if somebody got on the server PCA and tried to. SSH or Telnet, neither from there. All right, let's see how well we did. This is one of the trickier homeworks because it's very particular about your syntax on the ACLs. I even goof it up, goof it up from time to time, as you can see. <laughs> yourself some time for this homework.
apply ACL to the ingress on the BTY lines. So it's not on the Oh, I see what I did. those commands. Okay. That's okay. So, access list 10. Permit. PCC's IP address is 192.168.33. Now, we don't have to put in a deny any, do we? Because it's already implied. You have to go to the VT one line. And to apply an access list to a virtual line or a console line or auxiliary port, uh, we use the access dash class command. Ten. It should be in there. Now let's see. Oh yeah, it looks like. So we didn't have to do that that deny that we did. Didn't have to do that. It's already applied. So let me go back to R3. Actually, we'll do this again on R2. Same thing, you do it the same way for R1, R2, and R3. So with R2, global configuration mode. Access list 10, permit, host, 192.168.3.3. Line, BTY, 0 space 4. Access dash class, 10, in. Access list 10 permit host 192.168.3.3 line ETY 0 4 access dash class 10 in. that we did the BTY lines very exclusive access from management station PCC establish the SSH connection you don't have to do that that's if you want to test it 
It should work. It's fine. So now, in part three, we need to create a number, ACL120, on R1 to permit any outside host to access DNS, SMTP, and FTP on PCA and deny any outside host access on HTTPS on PCA and permit PCC to access R1 via SSA. Okay, so so verify the steps here, verify PCC can access PCA you can do that Configure ACL 120 to specifically permit and deny the specified traffic. So we're on R1. Global configuration mode. Access list 120. Permit. And I just kind of go through these in order here. So with a extended ACL permit any outside host to access DNS, SMTP, and FTP of PCA. So you have to know what PCA is what? IP addresses, right? Okay. You also have to know what protocol and port each of these services is using. SMTP, FTP, pretty simple. DNS, eh, it doesn't specify whether it's TCP or UDP. We'll have to play around with it a little bit. All right, so we'll do DNS first. So this is coming from anywhere. So we're gonna use the keyword any. Actually, we need to know what protocol it is first. So we're just gonna go with TCP. Keyword any, coming from anywhere. Two, destination. Host, the IP of PCA, which is 192.168.13. And then, EQ, because this is a specific equals to port, and then the port number. Or, this is where I say they let you cheat, use a question mark, FTP, POP3, SMTP, uh, they let you cheat a little bit. On real routers, they list out a lot of different services. So, what port is DNS? Anybody know? Everybody Google. 53. Okay. Now, I can type all that out again for FTP. They have FTP there. SMTP, they have SMTP there. Right? Same, same. DNS is the toughie. I can hit up arrow and change that EQ53 to just say FTP. Up arrow again, because I've already rip typed it out. Delete FTP and put an SMTP. Hit enter. Deny any outside host access to HTTPS on PCA. So we want to deny anybody from reaching HTTPS on PCA. Okay. So here, if I up arrow, I got to change this permit to what? Deny. Deny, right? All right. Hey, let's go ahead and start all over here. So access list 120 goes in order, right? So we're just creating one at the bottom of this ACL. This time we're going to say deny. 
HTTPS uses what protocol? Give me a hint. It's either UDP or TCP. UDP. No. No, it's TCP. No. It's connection oriented. Okay. Coming from anywhere to the IP address of PCA host, one specific IP, same IP address, 192.168.1.3, EQ, and what is the port number of HTTPS? 443. 443. So that will deny that traffic. And then the last thing we need to do is to permit PCC to access R1 by SSH. So, tricky part. Look at the diagram. PCC traffic's coming from here. It needs to reach R1. Right? So we need to understand source destination. Source destination. That packet is first going to hit 10110. This is where we're going to put this ACL, I believe. Let me check the instructions. Yeah, so it's going to be applied to S000. Right. So here's where it gets kind of tricky, and hopefully we'll get this right. I don't know whether Packet Tracer wants us to deny traffic to the serial IP address or the Ethernet IP address. We can do both. We'll do the serial though, because that's where the packet would first hit. Access list, 120. Permit. TCP. The IP of PC, I'm sorry, post. The IP of PCC, 192.168.3.3. The IP address of R3, which it could be two of them in this case. It could be the serial IP, it could be the Ethernet IP. Let's try with the Ethernet IP. Let's go with kind of dumb logic here. So R1's Ethernet is 192.168.1.1. That's going to be a specific host again, 192.168.1.1. EQ, and it was for SSH, right? Yeah, so that should be 22. That would be 22. Then apply the ACL to serial 000. And it should be inbound. So int s0 slash 0 slash 0. IP access dash group 120 int. All right, let's see how. Professor Brown did. I only got one point. So this is the tricky part. Getting those ACLs exactly the way that Packet Tracer wants you to have them. Alright. So access dash list one. IP access dash press. I hate packet tracing. There it is. So those are my lines 10, 20, 30, etc. I should be able to take those lines out individually. Right? Now I'm going to gamble here and
add an additional line just for the serial interface. 10.1.1. whatever it is. See how you did. ACLs are jumping out. Hey, they got it right. Well, let's look at R1 then. So they put in UDP instead. That's probably where I went wrong. Oh, later on I have to I have to finish up the ICMP stuff. That's what it is. So more to come there. That's why it's not. There we go. So, back to my R1. So I need to take out 10 or just replace it. Is adding in UDP along with TCP. We'll get to the rest of it later on when we modify the AC, modify the ACL on R1. So make any necessary changes to ACL 120 to prevent and deny the specified traffic. Okay. So here, permit ICMP echo replies and destination unreachable messages from the outside network, well, the R1, which would be the serial interface, deny all other incoming ICMP packets. So here, yeah, let's work on them one at a time. Access list, 120, permit, ICMP, any, any, and then the ICMP type. So in this case, echo reply. Echo dash reply. And then the same thing for 
destination unreachable. So here, we should just do unreachable. That will cover everything. Not all other incoming ICMP packets. That'll do it. Because if it's an echo request or echo uh, reply, I should say, and, or an unreachable, it'll hit these two entries first before it hits the deny. So that should work. Now it's Still doesn't like it. All right. Again, I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I said this homework is really 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 finicky and it's not because of the ACL the syntax it's because of, tra of the packet transfer That's really strange. I don't understand. You should not have that there. That's like bad, bad, bad practice. So if you do a no access list 120, that takes everything out. Not just the one, but every line. Okay. I am not going to put that IP any any in there. That should not go in there at all. I don't know why. But I'm curious now. If you're not able to get AC, I run into this problem every quarter. If you're not able to get AC 120, ACL 120, I will uh, I'll give you credit for it. The last two are actually a lot easier on R3.
In configuring ACL 110, you're going to permit only traffic from the inside network to deny all outbound packets with source address outside the range of the internal IP addresses on R3. Okay? So you're going to deny all outbound packets so R3's internal is going to be the fast ethernet so you're going to deny outbound packets from that source network list ten okay. all outbound packets with source address outside the range of the internal IP address. Okay. That should do it, I believe, and then apply it to F01. The access group. Got that one right. Just the one liner. And then 110. I'm sorry, 100. Configure ACO 100 to block all specified traffic from the outside network on R3. Block all packets containing the source IP from the following pool of addresses. Cast address. So I'm going to cheat on this one. Just show you what that looks like. Kind of a little bit more lengthy of a list. Don't forget the IP, permit IP any, any at the end. Doesn't really matter what sequence you put it in, so they have the 10 network, 172 16 network. That wildcard mask is a little bit different, you've got to get that right. That's 015 255 255. 192 168 network, 127 network, class A. And they're looking at the multicast network of 224.0.0.0 with the wildcard mask of 15.255.255.255. I'll leave that up there for everybody to kind of write down. And don't forget, that goes on to
to put it onto serial 001 income. Huh, and they didn't even do it, they gave them credit for it. Alright. Because that wasn't in the list. They didn't even check it. So, try to remember to put that on there. Let me put that back up there so you guys write it down. This is probably one of the hardest homeworks that there is. Everything else is a little more straightforward. That's only because the ACLs and Packet Tracer are just so finicky. It's just it's hard for them to try to code this because there's in, in writing ACLs you can have stuff 